Since AI came to our lives, well, there needs to be a lot of people that teach that AI how to do certain things. People need to test it. That's exactly what you do on ChatGPT when it's asking you for a response. So you just got to rate the response, whether it's good or bad, but they don't pay you for it. Today's collection is going to pay you for testing AI tools. And honestly, anybody can do these. So let's just go one by one. The first one is called MindRift. MindRift training AI jobs. This is you with your expertise in certain areas, teaching AI how to do stuff, right? You don't have to be a programmer. You don't have to be a teacher. There's a lot of these different tasks that can be done without any expertise. But if you have any kind of expertise, it's going to be better for you because, well, these jobs pay more. It's fun. It's also really good opportunity for anyone. Here you can see that you will have a competitive task base rate assigned to you based on both your expertise and location. And honestly, the pay is good. It's of course going to depend on your location. And I know that the dollar is not worth the same in the US as it is in the rest of the world. So yeah, it's going to depend on that. Writers, editors, domain experts, you rate the answers. You get two answers, you choose which one is the best. And that's about it, right? Also, you have guidelines for each project. You can't get lost and you will always have support to lead you through it. Now let's go on to the second one. First of all, I got to tell you this. If by any chance you want to collect leads from Google Maps, I have a perfect tool for you. It's called Lead Sniper. The link for it you can find down there. A few clicks and you scrape all the leads you need. They have free trial, which you can just use right now to see whether this is for you or not. And from there, it's a one time payment. It is basically an extension, which works like this on Google Chrome. You find your area and then you just type in the keyword. Let's just go with barber or maybe barbershop click on the start button and then it's just going to list out all the barber shops in your location. You can see the number of leads here and of course you can export all of it into CSV file. On Lead Sniper, they've got a few other products such as Google Search Scraper and a few other ones, but Google Maps is the one I use the most. There's an installation guide for you as well. And if you ever feel stuck, there's 24 seven live chat support for solving all your problems. And as I've told you, pay once and export leads forever. The link is down there. Okay, the next one is Outlier. Outlier is, well, it's popular. They work with remote tasks. It's actually the same company and I will cover remote tasks hand in hand with Outlier because while well, these are, this is the same company, remote tasks work in all areas. Outlier on the other hand has just few, but in a nutshell, it's the same things to do from these generalist jobs, so generalist jobs, then you go over to history, law, data science, and you can just explore all these domains. So what is this going to be about? You rate the answers, just like in the all of the other ones, it's going to give you a few solutions. And then you just choose which one of these is going to be the best. The second option is to rewrite the content that AI gives you. And the third one is going to be with images, audio, or video. So you just describe what you see and then you teach the AI how to do it properly, right? You just go with the prompts and all of that. The pay here on Outlier, as you can see also, they use PayPal and AirTM and it's going to be based on your skills. Now, Outlier has a lot of opportunities. As you can see at the moment of recording this video, there's like more than 400 opportunities. And you can search by location. You can search like these generalist jobs. As you can see, AI content reviewer. Let me just click on this one. They're going to tell you what you have to do. And they're going to tell you what the pay is going to be, right? So go and see if this is for you. All you got to do is to create yourself an account, verify yourself, pass skills assessment, which is not hard, by the way. And then you just start working on remote tasks. It's the same thing. This is my profile. Now this is where your task is going to be. You just have to create yourself an account and start going on. By the way, you can find all of these on Google, just Google for them. I'm not affiliating for any one of these, just Google for the one that interests you the most. The next one is a liner. Now this is a bit shady to me because they promise too much because here you can see that they promise up to $150 per hour. 
But I saw the jobs and I see that inside of the jobs, you can actually see what is the pay rate gonna be. So $150 per hour. Well, it's actually a lie. It's just to get you on, you know, this is a red flag for me, but I saw the jobs and I can't tell that they're not, you know, honest with the jobs. But this homepage is not so honest. The same thing applies here. You align AI models, right? So you shape the AI future, you earn extra cash. And of course, it's just gonna depend on you and the time you invest in this one. Same as on Outlier. You rate and rank the answers that you get. You rewrite the answers if you wanna do that. And then there's videos, audio, or images, or text. The easiest jobs are these ratings, all right? This is exactly what you do with ChatGPT. You know, whenever you ask ChatGPT about something, it's just gonna ask you to give it a feedback, right? But OpenAI is never gonna pay you for it. This, these are. So if you go on to see the jobs, you can view all roles. There's a lot of these, right? There's, of course, if you have any kind of knowledge, any kind of expertise, but if you are just, you know, Dutch writer or speaker, you just view the job, you see what you have to do. And of course, you're going to see the pay range here, which is in this case from 15 to 150, anywhere in that area. This is what I don't like, by the way. The next one is Stellar. And this one, well, this is my personal favorite, because first of all, they're honest, you get up to $25 per hour. And this is it. You don't have to have any kind of prior experience. They teach you how to do certain things and you get the assessment test, which is also going to get paid $40. You get just for passing the assessment test. I've got a special video on it, how to pass stellar test. Basically you just have to do Google search, but you have to be patient, you know, just go easily on it. It's not hard at all. Just Google search for the answers that you, that they're looking for. And that is exactly what you're gonna do for the rest of your career here. So you select which AI chatbot answer is the best. This is the same as on Outlier and Aligner. But these are a few different ones, such as correct answers from AI chatbots in your field and to demonstrate to the AI how to do online research for a given topic. And yes, they will help you. You will have all the help that you need in order for you to get trained so later on, you can train the AI model. The next one is Taloka, and this is a pretty old one. Taloka is on the internet as far as I can remember. And one more, which is gonna be the last one, is also old, but let's just stick to Taloka first. The same thing applies here. You apply for jobs, if you've got any expertise, well, you are gonna get paid more. Free training multi-turn, rating the answers, Taloka is there for you. Now, Taloka is for companies mostly. So if you wanna become a Taloker, right? You can just Google for Talokers, right? So Talokers are the workers on Taloka. Click on it and this is the place where you can see. Data labeling. This is the most important part on Taloka. You know, they give you the image and you just label the car or you label the person there, you know, just for the AI training, the AI models to understand better. So earn money when tasks are available. They will give you the notification, right? And of course, it's going to depend on the demand on your region and your skills as well, how many of these jobs you're going to get, but they will get you a notification when certain jobs are available for you. Just make yourself an account, just like on all of these other ones. It's pretty, it's neat, and, you know, just something to do in your spare time and not to waste it. And we come to the one of the oldest ones on the internet, and it is ClickWorker. It was here before AI. It was like these simple tasks that you could do. Now ClickWorker allows AI training data, and there's a lot of work on here. This is now, as far as I've seen, the platform which pays you the least, right? But it's fun jobs, you know? For example, you can train the eye tracking tools. You can train the facial recognition tools. So this, these are more technical things. And for these, you don't have to have any kind of knowledge. That's why they pay less, right? But the jobs are fun, anyone can do them. And, you know, just 
use your time wisely. It's not going to be, you know, some kind of a get rich quick scheme or something like that. It's not going to be thousands of dollars the next week. This is just something for a side hustle of yours. And it's really good. So if you're if you plan to waste your time on Instagram or on social media, well, you better just hop onto one of these platforms instead. Wish you good luck and I'll catch you in the next one.